Alright y'all, the moment of truth. I'm about to get on the scale. <laughs> Join me on my health and wellness journey with Weight Watchers. So y'all, today is weigh-in day. This will be my second official weigh-in with Weight Watchers. So let's find out how I did today. So 3.2 pounds, y'all, that's my loss for this week. And I could not be happier with that. I dropped seven pounds the first week. I've done that before. I've lost seven pounds in a week. One time, um, I started a new eating plan. This was years ago. And I lost almost 10 pounds in one week. I know that's not gonna be typical. Not everybody does that. I'm that person on the beginning. I will drop a whole bunch of weight. So last week, I lost a total of seven pounds in one week. So this week, I lost 3.2. That's more, you know, of an average. Sometimes you're going to lose two pounds, sometimes three, sometimes one. It just depends on how your body decides to drop the weight. And there's one thing that I've realized. The weight is going to come off how the weight comes off. So there's one thing I'm really glad I did. I recommend that you do it, and that's measure. I measured at the beginning of my journey and so I'm gonna go home and measure again today I mean I'm having good weight loss but I still want to measure because sometimes you're gonna see a time when you're not gonna lose that much on the scale but you will see a huge difference in the tape measure because maybe you are building muscle but losing fat so muscle tissue is more dense so it takes up less space and fat takes up more space because it is fluffier for lack of a better word so um i'm over here at mcdonald's i don't know if you can see it or not but um when i got out of the meeting i decided to come over here and i'm gonna get an egg mcmuffin which is eight points and i actually shared a shorts video talking about food shaming and i'll talk a little bit about that right now because we kind of touched on that in the meeting today. I love going to the meetings. Today we were talking about, um, and well, uh, all this month they've been talking about it, but I just joined in last week. So um, when we leave every day, we're taking a goal with us, um, and we carry that throughout the week. But they're talking about uh, friction and fuel this month, like things that you can do to give you fuel for your um, healthy lifestyle. And things that you can do to create friction and not bad friction but friction that will help you to um, be successful in dropping weight and becoming healthy so um, the Egg McMuffin on Weight Watchers is eight points and then of course you can get a diet soda and that's zero points you can also decide you want water funny story for that um, I went grocery shopping last week and I stopped at McDonald's. I got an egg McMuffin. And so um, I told her I wanted an egg McMuffin and I said I would like a McIce water with that. And she was like, a what? And I was like, a Mc, I mean, I mean, an ice water. <laughs> so, like, you know, McDonald's, everything has a Mick on it. So now my daughter in law and I have decided that we're just going to keep that phrase and we're going to call every water we get from McDonald's a McIce water. So, um, I did a short little video yesterday talking about eating at KFC and how I had a lunch for only seven points. So I'm living proof that you can still eat out at restaurants and lose weight. I lost 3.2 pounds this week. You know, the scale uh, is definitely moving downward and I'm just making better choices. Whereas before, if I went to KFC, I would have gotten a much bigger meal and my KFC meal for lunch yesterday was a chicken leg, corn, and mashed potatoes and gravy. And then a diet soda. I am incorporating more water into my diet, but I still have my sodas. I do plan to phase them out more and more. And where I'm on the uh, majority of the time drinking water, but I'm working on that. Right now, it's like... I drink soda and then I'll drink water and then the next time I'll drink some soda 
and then the next time I drink water. But I'm always drinking diet soda. It has zero calories, but I'm not wanting to get away from it because of the calories. I'm wanting to get away from it because of the caffeine. And you know, I have high blood pressure and stuff and the medicine is starting to kick in and bring the blood pressure down. I just take, checked it yesterday and it was 123 over 84. And if you will remember my first video on here, my blood pressure was sky high. It was like 163 over 98 or something like that, I think. So that's definitely better, which I think is a combo of them tweaking the medicine and me making better choices. So my heart rate was still in the 90s, which needs to go down. So um, I feel like that by cutting out the caffeine, even my doctor said if you cut out caffeine, that's going to help that because caffeine speeds you up. It, you know, it gives you... Um, a boost. So anything like that that's got caffeine in it is going to make your heart beat faster. So that's one reason why I'm trying to get off so much of the caffeine. It's not that the soda is giving me calories because I'm always drinking like Coke Zero or Diet Coke or Pepsi Zero or something like that. So it's not that I'm drinking empty calories. It's just I'm trying to get away from the caffeine and the artificial sweetener, there's lots of aspartame in those drinks. And that aggrav aggravates inflammation, which I already have going on in my back and my hip. So um, I'm going to see if those things improve, if my pain improves with that. Because there is a such thing as aspartame poisoning. And I drink a lot of soda. So I'm just going to see. I mean, aspartame is, uh, from what I have read, is a neurotoxin. So um, I want to try to bring that in and not drink so much of the diet soda so not shaming anybody so let's go into the food uh, food shaming if you like to drink your diet soda drink it i'm gonna drink mine but i'm gonna try to cut back for those reasons i just stated but i'm sure not gonna shame anybody if they're drinking diet soda and i'm drinking a water and be like you should be drinking water like me no no i'm not gonna do that i don't want anybody to do that to me but here's the thing. This is something we talked about in the meeting today, and I absolutely think it is true. A lot of people will food shame you, but they don't really mean to. They mean well by it, but it's not well, you know? Um, just like with Weight Watchers, we can have anything we want as long as we count the points for it. Of course, the better choice of food it is, the less points it's going to have, not to mention our list of zero points food, which is foods that are great choices for your health, like chicken and 99% um, fat-free turkey, green leafy vegetables, fruits, uh, fat-free yogurt, fat-free cottage cheese. Of course, those things are going to be the better choice for us, but we can have other foods that we want as long as we're counting those points for them. If the points are worth it to you, have them. We have weekly points that are there for that very reason. So don't let anyone shame you. And please don't fall into that pattern where you inadvertently, maybe you don't mean to, but you're shaming someone. Um, like I got a text. It was an innocent enough text the day I was going grocery shopping. And this lady said, what are you doing? I was like, oh yeah, I'm going uh, grocery shopping. I just stopped at McDonald's and got an egg McMuffin so I don't shop on an empty stomach. And then she responded with, I thought you were on a diet. I thought you were doing Weight Watchers. How can you be eating McDonald's? But they just don't get it. They don't understand. They're, they're so caught up in the diet culture so it's really not their fault. And some people probably don't mean it. They're not like trying to shame you. Like shame on you. How dare you? Or, you know, you're going to fail because you hate McDonald's. I don't think the majority of people mean it that way. Some may. But honestly, I think they just don't know. And they're so caught up in the diet culture where you deprive, 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 deprive. You can't have that anymore. So you cannot eat that. Why are you eating that? If you eat that, you're not, you're not going to be successful. Well, that is not true. Everything is okay in moderation. You just have to know your portions and make the best choice. So that's what I've been doing. And that's what I want to continue to do with Weight Watchers. Um, 
I've ate, this is Egg McMuffin number three in the last two weeks. And altogether, my weight loss has been 10.2 pounds. So, not too shabby. And I must be doing something right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so don't let that bother you. And I mean, and you can even say that. You could just say, you know, if someone says, well, how can you have that? I thought you were on Weight Watchers. You can explain to them, you know, I've been doing this and it's working because I've lost this many pounds, this many inches in this amount of time. So, um, just don't fall into the food shame trap. Whether you are accidentally food shaming someone or you feel like you're being food shamed, don't fall into that. Don't let it bother you. Keep doing what you're doing and let the results speak for itself. So that's all. Just wanted to check in, do my way in, have a little chat about that. And one of the things I'm going to work on this week is one of my goals is I'm going to continue to do the Grow With Joe workouts that I've been doing. I watched a video where this girl said she's she keeps showing up for herself. So I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to keep showing up for myself because I'm worth it. And you need to show up for yourself too because you're worth it. Thank y'all for watching everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Join me on my health and wellness journey with Weight Watchers.